Timmy Hacker, go oh! Welcome to the slightly demented world of beard arts. This is a game we first played in 2003 at Rockfest and have adapted it only slightly. I'm going to spend a few minutes explaining this ever-growing sport. Oh man, I'm going to fall apart here. The equipment needed to play beer darts is two chairs, preferably with no arms, one metal tip dart, lots of cold beer in cans, two rubber mats, car floor mats work well for this, two pieces of cardboard, two players, as it's not much fun playing alone, but you will get drunk faster. Now you set the chairs 10 feet apart from each other, 8 feet after dark, put the mat down in front of the chair and place the cardboard against the chair as a backstop for the dart. Another job for duct tape if you have it. The can of beer must be open and placed between your legs on the mat. When you start a fresh tournament, rock, paper, scissors will determine who goes first. After this, the winner of the previous match always goes first. While seated, with all the equipment in place, you throw a dart at your opponent's beer. The goal is to puncture the can, forcing your opponent to drink down to the hole so there is no more beer leaking out of the can. You must do this before throwing your next dart. If your can is punctured in the bottom third of the can, you must drink the entire can and continue the game with a new can. A tick is where the dart does not actually puncture the can, but a noise can be heard as the dart skims the can. If your can is ticked, you must sip your beer. If the dart goes into the mouth of the can on a throw and the shaft drops into the can without puncturing the can, it is considered a bottom hit and that person must consume the entire can. The first person puncturing their opponent's can with three holes is a winner. When your can is hit for the third time, you must drink down to the hole or finish the can before the game ends. The loser must do the beer dart bow to the winner, proving he or she is not worthy. Taunting and or flashing to distract your opponents is allowed. If you stick any of your opponent's body parts with a dart, you must drink whatever is left in your can. Yes, I know it makes absolutely no sense to get a person even drunker who just stuck you in the leg. But hey, that's the rule, baby. The match winner remains in his chair until he or she is defeated or the participants agree to end the game. Cans cannot carry over to the next game unless there is more than two-thirds of the can remaining. Now you know how to play beer darts. Be safe, have fun, and don't even think about driving after playing. This game may cause headaches, dizziness, vomiting, bleeding from extremities, screaming like a bitch, falling, sex with ugly people, forgetfulness, public nudity, uncontrolled idiocy, talking out of your ass, anal seepage, urinary control issues, restless leg syndrome, drowsiness, and your friends that hate you. Don't bother consulting a doctor before playing.